So I went ahead and took off the back cover. We're going to be connecting these pins. I've got three pins. And they're going to connect to the three pins on the back of the compressor. Right back here. So I've already loosened it up a little bit. I'm just going to reach in here. You want to take out this whole assembly. All right. So I've already loosened it up. When I took that off the first time. You can see the two pins. We're showing there's supposed to be three. I'm going to come back and get this top part off. And there you go. So there's the three right there. Alright, so the assembly we're going to be clipping off. We're going to use these. This right here is for the power. I'm going to go ahead and hook up this hard start. If you look on the back of the assembly on the paperwork here, gives us a diagram. The start, common, run, white, black, red, respectively. Alright, so we're going to try hooking it up just as it has on the chart and then we will plug it back in Let's see what we can get so this has white on the left side and black on top with red on the right And these things are just sliding right on nice and easy and I mean really and once you get the part this should be about a 15 minute job at the most alright so we got these now this is AC current so it's not going to matter there's no polarity just connect them. All right, so there we go. We got our power. And we're now gonna hook these on up. Just twist them. Right before I stick this on in, I just want to make sure that it's going to run. So we'll go ahead and we will plug this on in. There we go. Vibrating, it's good noise, not humming. No clicks. So it looks like it's good. Oh yeah. Getting cold air again. Excellent.
All right, so there we go. All right, so what I'll go ahead and do now is I will unplug it. And we will hook this right back up here. There we go, we got it sitting in there now. Alright, so we got the cover back on. Go ahead and plug this back in. It took about, it's roughly five minutes.